hello students in the previous session we learned that this story the world renowned nose tells us about a long nosed man and how people keeps running and paying just to get a glimpse of the long nose and how a uh, political parties use his name to popularize their party for their own benefits i have also given you the word meanings now let's begin the chapter it is a startling piece of news that nose has become a matter of dispute among intellectuals i record here the true story of that nose so students at the very beginning the writer begins the story by exposing a news to the readers right it's a very surprising news startling piece of news everyone is talking uh this talking and discussing and quarreling over the topic of the long nose and now uh, the writer will be giving us the true story of that nose now the owner of that world renowned nose had completely 24 years of age when the story began no one knew him before that does the 24th year in a person's life have any special significance who knows if one looks through the recorded pages of world history one finds that the 24th year had a significance in many great lives students of history need hardly be told this so now the writer says that the long nosed person is 24 years old when the story begins and before that nobody knew that long nosed person okay then the writer asks us he asks the readers that is 24th year uh, of a person's life has any importance has any significance has any special significance because of which uh, changes come or something happens like that and he replies himself that who knows like if one reads uh, the world history one would find that the 24th year had a significance in many great lives means uh, probably those people must have done something really significant and worth remembering at only 24 years of age now the hero of our story was a cook a kitchen worker if you like he was not particularly intelligent he could not read and write his world was confined to the kitchen he was totally indifferent to happenings outside the kitchen why should he pay attention to them he could eat to his satisfaction sleep work his daily routine was confined to these activities so now the writer tells us about the hero of the story okay so the main character of this story and he is a kitchen worker the hero is a cook we know that he was not an intelligent man he was not an intelligent person he was not a learned man he could neither read nor write his world uh, was totally limited to the kitchen works only he had no idea of what happened outside the kitchen okay um he was he was uh, he was uh, though his life was limited to the kitchen works only uh still he was living a very satisfactory life he was satisfied with his life he could eat sleep and work and that is all what he did every day so these were the only activities in his daily routine he did not know the names of the months of the year when it was time for him to receive his salary his mother would come and take it he lived a contented life till he reached his 24th year then an amazing thing happened so students this hero did not know even the names of the months 
okay and when the time comes when he gets his salary his mother would come and take it so he was living a very very satisfactory life till the age of 24 okay here something interesting happens so uh, he was living a very satisfactory life till the age of 24 but then in his 24th year an amazing thing happened now let's see what happened his nose grew slightly in length it passed his mouth and reached the level of his chin the nose began to grow in length every day within a month the nose reached his navel did he feel uncomfortable not in the least he could breathe freely he could distinguish between smells so now students the amazing thing that happened uh, when he was 24 uh, 24 years of age was that his nose started to grow longer and longer okay it grew so long that it reached his chin and uh, then it kept growing day by day and after a month what happened was that his nose hung down and grew so longer that it reached his belly okay but the writer says that even though the hero's nose uh, grew longer and longer and finally reached his belly, he did not feel uncomfortable. He was able to breathe properly. He was able to distinguish between the smells. He could smell different things. So why would he, uh, why would he feel uncomfortable with his long nose? Right? So now... However, because of his nose, the poor cook was dismissed from service. What was the reason? No group came forward with the battle cry, take back the dismissed employee. Political parties shut their eyes to this piece of rank injustice. No lover of humanity came forward to help. But then students, what happened? Uh, the the hero did not feel uncomfortable with his nose but then what happened the hero because of his long nose was dismissed from his job no one came forward to help him no political party spoke in his favor they did not raise their voice against uh, the injustice which was done to our hero with the long nose the poor cook no one had to tell him why he had lost his job the reason was that the people living in the house where uh, where he worked could find no peace or quiet because of him people came visiting night and day to see the long-nosed one photographers pestered them news reporters became a nuisance a number of things were pilfered from the house so now students the writer tells us the reason why the hero was dismissed from his job why the hero had to lose his job and the reason because of which he was dismissed from the job was that because of his long nose people kept coming they kept visiting day and night to the house where uh, our hero uh, the long nosed hero worked they kept visiting the house day and night just to see his long nose. Photographers kept visiting the house. News reporters kept visiting the house. So these things disturbed the atmosphere of the house where he worked. Sometimes uh, the people who used to visit him also uh, stole things from the house. And that is why because of all these the people uh, who, who used to live in the house, uh, house uh, who used to live in that house, they felt so annoyed and they felt so disturbed. And that is why they dismissed the long nosed hero from his job. As the dismissed cook sat starving in his lowly hut, he was convinced of one thing his nose had acquired great publicity. 
So even though the long-nosed hero was dismissed from his job of cooking and he was suffering from hunger now, still he was convinced and was okay with his condition because his nose gained publicity because of his length. He was of the idea that, okay, my nose gained publicity. What should I think of anymore, right? So he was, uh, he was kind of... Um, he was thinking uh, kind of something like that. So that is why he was convinced and he was totally okay with his situation um, because his nose had acquired great publicity. People, uh, people knew his nose. Now, people from distant lands came to see him. They stood stunned with surprise at his long nose. Some touched it too, but no one asked, have you eaten today? Why do you look so weak? There was no money in the hut. Was he a wild animal to be kept starving? He might be a fool, but he was a human being. One day, he called his old mother aside and told her in a whisper, get these horrid people out. The mother promptly put them all out and closed the door. So when the long-nosed hero, uh, he, when he was in his hut, when he was in his house, there too people kept visiting to see him, to see his long nose. And they were really shocked to see his long nose. Some, uh, some people even touched his nose. And now uh, the writer says that even though people, uh, so many people kept visiting him to see his long nose, still nobody asked him if he ate something or why did he look so weak. Because he was sitting jobless in his hut. He had no money to buy food. And these people were going crazy for his long nose, right? So the writer says that uh, the long-nosed uh, hero, he can be a fool. But after all, uh, like he can be a fool. He can be an uh, illiterate person. But still, after all, he was a human being. He had emotions too right and that is why he called his mother and asked her to get these people out of their house and accordingly his mother also got all these people out of the house and closed the door now good fortune dawned on the mother and son after that day people began to bribe the mother to see the son's nose some upholders of justice protested against this corruption but the government did not take any action many protested against the inaction of the government and joined revolutionary parties out to sabotage the government so now students the writer says that after that day uh, good luck came to the long-nosed hero's house. Now, how? How good luck came to their house? Because after that day, people started to pay the mother of the long-nosed hero to see his nose. Okay? Some people did not like this thing that people are paying or giving bribe to the mother. And so, uh, they protested against it. But... The government did not take any action. Government uh, did not do anything against it. And that is why many people uh, even protested against the government also. They wanted to break or destroy this government. As this government did not take any action against what people were doing just to see the long nose. They were giving bribe to the mother of the long-nosed hero. And when the government also uh, did not do anything against uh, this corruption, people became angry upon the government and they tried uh, to destroy the government. They, they, they joined uh, several revolutionary parties uh, uh, to destroy the government, to destroy or to uh, break the existing government. So students, um, we will stop here for now and we'll continue the further chapter in the next session. Thank you.